diagnose, and I tell all my patients that um, you know this is something that's going to happen, and it's going to happen. It's not a matter of if we're going to have a treatment, but just when. And the FDA is is hopefully in the next two to four years, probably closer to three to four years, will will we will have an approved treatment for, for nut allergies. And it's not only going to be for, for peanut allergies and tree nut allergies, but it's going to be for milk and egg and fish and other foods in the future. So it's, it's really an exciting time uh, to be an allergist, an exciting time for therapies we're going to be able to offer our patients in the future. The vast majority, 99.9% .9 of children who have food allergies will end up living a completely normal life, a full life, and will can live to be 100 years old without any big problems. So you want to let the food allergy, you want to let it be important to be careful about, but not to rule or, or, or make it the sole focus of life. Most children and most families have learned to live with this problem and are dealing with it on a day-to-day -day basis and do a darn good job. Uh, and, and I think our, our schools and public areas are working at that too.